the beauty of art it's like uh, it depends on the project depends on the client i guess what have you uh, we work with uh, heather henson of the henson family and and these were, were uh, developed to 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 tell a story about the endangered animals of our of our world and bring bring attention to to their plight just the beautiful study of the lines of any one of these characters or crocodiles or whooping cranes and all begins to dictate a lot of the a lot of the development of the character but then you know building some whimsical fun into to things for people to to be able to ah, ah, enjoy the, the 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 silliness of things and then these really goofy characters you know they pop out of a hat like uh, you know magic some of us artsy fartsies it i don't know it feels like a little bit out on the outside but i don't i don't totally agree with that i think that uh we were created uh, with with things in us that want to create now you know creativity i think like like all the different wa uh, gears in a watch creativity each person gets a different sort of version of creativity but we all get some so uh, I, uh, I i like to encourage everybody to think that they are actually creatives so we're all alike all right, you heard him say creativity a whole lot. Davey is the creative director of the educational nonprofit, The Big Potato Foundation. And the mission is to cultivate healthy communities through creative and cultural efforts. Now he helped design these puppets for an endangered species parade and program. Guys, who knew that you could make a career as a puppeteer? I had no idea, right? <laughs> but I think the real takeaway here is that reminder that there is a spark of creativity in all of us. Davy took a huge chance by moving from a medical field to the arts. He followed his passion, right? And it paid off. So Cecily, we know that you started your nonprofit because you have a passion to help other women. So can you share a little bit with us about, you know, some of the things that you've gained from that? Yeah, I think what I gained most is the empathy, you know, because at what point you really thought you were out there on that island alone. And then when you realized the more you give, the more that others are seeing themselves in you as well. So I've, I've learned that there's a level of empathy that comes along with those who may not look like me, may not have the same story as me, but at the end of the day, we all have a very similar storyline and I know that I can help. And that's why I feel so passionate about helping other women get to the best days of their lives just by showing that, hey, I was that woman too, so let's make it happen. You know, with the puppeteering, I, I keep going back in my head to wondering what the conversation was like when he sat down and said, Mom, Dad, I'm dumping medicine, going into puppetry. What do you think? <laughs> Holy cow. That's like walking up to the edge of the cliff and jumping off. Go, right, I'm proud exactly. of you, son. But I, I've, seen, I've seen the stuff they do, and it's not sock puppets like no. we're thinking. It's not even Muppets. This stuff is really art. It's gorgeous. It's set to music. It's emotive. I mean, it's, it, these, these guys are really, really something special. Yeah, they're good. You know, Bill, I got to disagree. If his parents knew him, uh, I think they said, you're right. You don't belong in a hospital. You belong in the Big <laughs> Potato Foundation. So go make it happen. <laughs> I, I, that's, you, you have to wonder if that was before or after they paid for medical school. <laughs> right. <laughs> right.